Oh well, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> if I might even say so, considering that we last saw each other six months ago. Well, anyway, I uh, hope that you're glad to see me with this chicken yellow hair <laughs> on my head. The idea behind this was that um, in the new year I'm coming like all white or like blank page like to write something new on it, but it ended up being just yellow as hell, so. And I know what you're thinking, okay? Like, you haven't been here for six fucking months and you promised a video a vlog on St. Petersburg and you promised a lot, a lot of videos during summer, but where is all that? Well, my personal excuse for that is that I've been really busy with figuring my life out and like, you know, looking for a job, which you probably know, and, you know, settling my life in and like, uh, battling with many things. Let's just talk about that because, you know what, this is the end of 2019 and I think that it's a good, good, very good time uh, to talk about everything that happened, to mention uh, some major points that I've been through uh, in this very much complicated year. So the beginning of 2019 was kind of hard for me uh, considering the new years and I guess you remember my first video of 2019 and it was kind of like me drawing something with acrylic paints and stuff and it was kind of sad. I mean I think it was kind of sad to see that because I was kind of like battling with this something close to depression, I would say. I was trying to find something to cheer myself up and it was for a good, good reason, which I assume many of you have been through, which is breakup. I was looking for many ways to overcome it, but still it was haunting me for good, good half of 2019. I'm not gonna go into much detail because um, the one thing I learned about uh, in 2019 is that it's better to keep some things private, you know, because that way only you can make your choice, only you can deal with certain things and you know the best what to do and this is your choice, you will have the consequence for that. And if you have many, many advisors to tell you like, do this, do that and don't do this, don't do that, this becomes their decision, consequences from which you will have to take. And this is just not right, I think. Well, this was that, and then I finished my university, as you know, and uh, which was also the painful experience for me because like, the university was carrying a lot, a lot, a lot of bad memories. And when it was my, you know, prom day, kind of like graduating day, I was in university, I was just stumbling upon the corridors and just well, crying basically because I was lonely and I felt like I had no friends there. It was only the person that I was in love with once and then we broke up and then it wasn't a thing anymore. So all I took from this experience of university was this love for this guy. And when it all ended up, I realized that I've, I'm left with nothing, basically. Then I was kind of looking for a job and um, I was searching through the resumes and it wasn't just like struggling to find a job of your profession. It was struggling to find a fucking profession because my profession, my own profession from university, like I'm bachelor in Oriental Studies, it's kind of related to science, you know? It's kind of related to you know, going for the for master degree and for the uh, MD, MD, MHD. How is this called? I forgot. Well, further, further, further before you become like a major scientist or something. I didn't want to go for science because this is my personal choice. I just don't like science. Is all. I was living on my allowance before that. But then this allowance stopped as soon as I finished university, and my mom was pushing me to get a master degree which I didn't want to get because, again, I wasn't happy with my profession. I was kind of sh going running short on my money and then I was going for the job interviews and then I was going in and out in like different companies, big companies, small companies, different jobs, like, you know. I was looking for different jobs and this was a struggle because every time I would apply for a job, every time I would send my resume to them, like, I had many different resumes for each job I wanted to take. It was mainly video editing, like, you know, uh, service management, something like that. Translator as well, yeah. Every time I was thinking, like, 
well, do I really want this job? Like, if they answer to me, if they say that I'm good and they take me, do I really want this job? You know what? I just, I was struggling to realize that. So, so, eventually, I was called for a job interview by a company, which was uh, the language, international language school that taught English language. I went there and I was told at first that I was not suitable candidate for this job because I had no experience whatsoever. And then I had the second interview, which should have decided my, you know, destiny. It was the second interview and I went there kind of like expecting that they would just uh, send me off, but then they told me like, you know what, you have a good English, you have a good English level and you know what, we can teach you how to work with, you know, different ages. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah, because first of all, I had no other choice because no other company got me, like all the companies rejected me that I had been applying to. The second one is that it was English because I always loved English, I always loved the language, I always loved, you know, learning much about that. And also I had, I've had such a pleasant experience uh, in my own time in a language school and I wanted to provide this atmosphere for other people. I always dreamt to be in this atmosphere once again where everyone is like, you know, playing games and having a fun time and I still have friends from language school that I'm still very, you know, thankful for. So they got me in basically and that's how I got the job. That's how I got the job that I still work in and first it was like all good, all great, all fun. I love it, I love it. It's so perfect, it's so good. Uh, it gives me so many opportunities. It's so fun, it's so cool and I've been learning a lot. During that time I I've learned a lot of things, you know, I've learned a lot of things about that I never knew that work this way, you know, what's behind the scenes of a teacher, what should you do if, like, a kid cries, or what should you do if the kid just doesn't, you know, respect you, and how do you earn this respect, and all of those aspects, it's related to psychology in a way, it's related to you know, um, mentoring uh, techniques. I've met a lot of troubles, I've met a lot of um, downfalls and a lot of uh, cheers in a bathroom for everything that happened. I would still till this day am happy with this job because you know what, I've learned this, I've learned that and it's been four, four months, yes, four months of like pure experience for me and it's still a lot to go you know what that's entire year like entire 2020 ahead of me to go and to the very 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 important news you're probably wondering what the fuck this is not my fucking flag this looks nothing like my new flag oh by the way this is a christmas tree say hi to that yeah i moved i moved to another place and then I live in right now and this is my new home and this is basically the first time I ever moved anywhere. All my life I've been living in the same exact flat, in the same exact uh, like neighborhood. But now I moved to a different place and now I live in Moscow, in the city, in the capital of Russia and now, like now it feels like a totally different thing. It's a new period of my life, it's a new phase of my life. It's, I'm just stepping in this new ground. As I said in the beginning of the video, this chicken yellow hair symbolizes that I'm pure. Um, if you know anything about, you know, color, hair coloring, you'll know that this is uh, a pure bleached uh, hair and with no toner applied to that. And this is basically what hair looks like after you put the color out of them. That's why they have this, you know, yellow shade yeah, to that. Which means that I'm all pure and all ready for my new life toner to get inside my hair and my life in 2020. That's how I plan to do that. <laughs> in terms of my videos and in terms of everything that happens next, which I'm sure you're probably wondering. Now I'm currently on my holidays, but usually <laughs> the work gets a lot of time for me to finish. And you know, the teacher's job is not something that you just you know, you come to a place and you teach people and then you go out and you go to bed, you know, you just, it involves a lot of planning, a lot of preparation, a lot of like searching for different things, but still, 
I'm planning to post videos in 2020. I promise you, I am. Because I always get asked by my colleagues, like, what's your hobby? What are you doing? And I was like, oh, uh, well, I used to edit videos a lot of times. And they were like, oh, that's so cool. Like, that's so great. And I'm like, yeah, really, that's so great. Why don't I do that anymore? I can't promise you that the content will be the same. I'm planning on experimenting, you know, throwing any other video you know any other content and I'm, I'm feeling this you know creative um creative impulse inside of me okay i started to forget my english i just i really need to start making videos again okay because uh if i don't if i don't start making videos again i will forget all my english because it's so simplified for my teaching uh, specifics. Maybe it's not going to be talk videos, maybe it's going to be stories, maybe it's going to be drawing, maybe it's going to be, I don't know, something teaching related. I don't know. I just don't want to be in, you know, secluded in this bubble of content that I used to make. I want to make something new, you know what? And I think that it will be a great idea for all of us to just accept something new in 2020 and for all of you that are still here thank you for sticking in thank you for sticking by and it really really means a lot to me because you know when you just i haven't been here you basically haven't heard of me for like six months and you know what you still click on this video and you still watch till the end and you're here and you know what that means a lot <laughs> that what that's what i really do appreciate a lot I'm kind of ready for people to start, you know, unsubscri unsubscribing and like unfollowing me, but like I'm kind of done with that because I'm ready for a fucking fresh start. You know what? Let's leave all the past behind. If you're not down for my new content or for me anymore, that's totally fine. I totally get you. And if you're still here for me to see everything new and like to keep going our crazy ways, then let's do that. I don't like that. If you like this video, put the like, <laughs> hit the like, <laughs> do the like. <laughs> and if you have any questions, suggestions, and if you want to talk, just chat and everything like that. Just write down your comment in the comments down below. My ask account is long lost and forgotten because I forgot the password from that. Sorry, but my ask account is not working anymore. So if you want to contact me anyway, just write it down in the comments down below. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you have a great New Year party. I hope you are having a great holidays and wherever you are in the world. Stay. Ooh, hold the car. Bye.